In this video, you'll learn how to type Spanish accents and those funny little characters like the upside down question mark on a PC. So probably the easiest way of doing this is by installing the international keyboard. So let's do that now. So we'll click on search, type language settings, click on English, options, and add a keyboard. So here you can see I've actually already installed this keyboard, but if I was doing it for the first time, I'd click on add a keyboard, scroll down to United States International and click on that. Now we've got our keyboard installed. If you go down to the start bar, now you'll see next to the clock, this little language button. So if it's not already selected, you can click on that and then click on English International. So coming back to our document now, we can see that to get our accented letters, we need to use a key combination. So to get A with the accent going up, the acute accent, we need to press and hold apostrophe and then press A. So let's do that now. I'll press and hold apostrophe and A and voila, here we have our Spanish accented letter. So that's quite a simple way of doing things. But if for some reason you can't use this way, there are other ways to get Spanish accents and characters. You can also use Spanish accent codes. So for example, to get the acute A, we can press and hold Alt and then type the code 0225. So now I'm pressing and holding Alt and I'm typing 0225. When I let go of Alt, you can see we get the accented A. One thing to bear in mind with this method is that this only works by using the numbers on the key on the right side of the keyboard, so that number pad. If you use the numbers on the top that go in a line across the letters, it won't work, unfortunately. So if you have a laptop where you don't have the number pad, there is a way that you can still use this method just by doing a couple of extra steps. I'm not going to go into that now, but if you'd like to find out how, then you can click on the blog in the comments box below. Next, there's another way of getting Spanish accented letters and characters, and that's by using the character map. So let's do that now. Let's search for our character map. And here we get this really nice table of lots of different symbols and letters, and we have everything we need to type Spanish in here. So let's look at our upside down exclamation point, select. Then we can copy and paste this into our document. So this is going to come out really teeny tiny, I think, in this one, so let's make it a bit bigger. And even bigger. So that's a, another simple way of getting the symbols that we need for Spanish. Although if you're typing a lot in Spanish, it can be a bit fiddly every time to need to go into the character map and look for the letters and the symbols. So it, it could be useful to save a separate document where you already save all of the letters and the symbols that you need so you can just take them out easily. Finally, there's another very simple way, but this only works if you're using a Microsoft Office document. So for example, if you're typing in Word. So you can press and hold Control apostrophe and then click the vowel that you want. So I'm just gonna change the keyboard here because I need to find my apostrophe again. So I'm gonna press and hold Control apostrophe and a vowel. Oh, you have to be very quick. Let's try this again. Control, apostrophe, vowel, and here we have, again, our accented A. So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like it, and don't forget to follow Joy of Languages as well, because we'll be doing lots more videos like this in the future.